The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman pitching dominates the day as the Eagles take down the Queens Royals 5-0 and 7-1 with Coach Tom Griffin and Michael Watchering for the Eagles Sports Network. And Coach, uh, let's start right there, right on the mound. Jake Wright, dominant effort, seven innings of one-hit baseball. Braden Coe, phenomenal for his first career complete game. What did you see from those two hurlers today? Well, what you saw basically was guys who got ahead, uh, strike one. As we all know in baseball, strike one is, is extremely important for what can happen, and they did that. Um, I thought they were in the zone. I thought they expanded the zone when needed, and they, it was a great pitching job. And But it really comes down to the two catchers who called the game, did a great job getting their pitchers where they needed to. So that was outstanding. So very happy for both guys and our catchers. One out away from your first back-to-back shutout effort in 13 years, and as good as the pitching was, defense was solid as well. Made a lot of really nice plays, a few t- double plays there as well. What did you think of how the team was able to handle it when the balls were put in play? Well, great defense, solid defense, made the routine play. That's all you're trying to do, and I thought they did a great job with that, communicated well. Big two-strike, two-out hits. I thought we did a good job in our approach and going backside. Um, not trying to do too much, not trying to get too big, but understanding that if you put balls in play and cut the swing down, good things can happen. And fortunately for us, things went our way during that. But I'm going to tell you, <laughs> watch out for Queens. Mm-hmm. Well coached, great staff, middle infield. You watch a lot of baseball. Mm-hmm. That middle infield is good as you're going to say. I thought their infield was solid all across the board. It's a good club. We fortunately got the hand today. Tomorrow is going to be a great battle. There's no question about it because I think Ross has got something really special going on. He's an outstanding coach. You're going to see a lot of him uh, in the future here and not at Queens. It's going to be other places. That's my prediction. How about that? You like that? That guy's going to be somewhere um, a lot bigger. Obviously, the offense looks good as he scored 12 total runs, but you didn't have a hit in the final six innings. How much of the fact that they – of the fact that they started to switch out some different pitchers, some different looks impact yeah. your guys at the plate? Well, yeah, they were good. They did a good job. I mean, they pounded the strike zone and uh, were able to at least get it out of the middle and, and work a little bit more of the sides and then be able to throw the breaking ball uh, that made it competitive. No, they, they, uh, I, we had some hard contacts hit right at people, but the credit goes to their pitchers for, for putting up all those shutout innings out there. A great job by that uh, by that bullpen and those guys coming in. And tomorrow's going to be another key battle. I mean, it's going to be – this is never easy. It, this game may have seemed easy. As a coach, you're sitting over there like, boy, anything can happen. You know, 7 nothing. you're not comfortable. In these four-game sets, it is a it is a marathon uh, for what's going to happen to your bullpen and all that. So the shutouts or the uh, two complete games, huge for our pen. We've lost a guy – a starter tomorrow because of COVID, you know. Um, I don't know if there's a HIPAA law. Is there a HIPAA law on that? Uh, there probably is. Uh, I won't say who it is, okay? So I won't say who it is. So I ain't going to get a HIPAA uh, trouble. Um, so, yeah, we, we're missing a guy tomorrow. And um, so, like we say, you know, the cliche, next guy up. No, it is, that's true. Somebody else got to pitch. We got to find some guys that can give us some big innings as we go, go down the stretch right here. Final question for you. Yeah. you. You mentioned some COVID issues. Well, you didn't get to play last week. It's yeah. been two weeks since you got to play. How proud of you of your team oh. to come out like this after not playing for two weeks? Fantastic. We scrimmaged last week, made it game-like. We played Friday to Saturday, and they did a great job. The energy level, it felt like we were playing someone else. That's not easy to do. you got to have the right people in your program that say, hey, this isn't us playing us. This is competitive. This is one versus one. I don't care who's on the mound. I'm competing against that guy, whether he's got a, a different jersey on or he's a pitcher. That's all that matters. And he's got a baseball, and you're competing against that baseball. If you can get that mindset every day in your training, then it doesn't matter who you play because you're competing against yourself and you compete against that baseball. And last week on that weekend, great job. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, great training days. Great training days. And then we were able to kind of just kind of you let the bodies rest a little bit for Thursday, Friday, and today, uh, super proud of them. And Coach Roberts, can't, can't say enough about what he did. Preparation for our guys. The scouting report he did. It's incredible having our guys prepared. Coach, thanks so much for the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. It's Carson Newman, Coach Tom Griffin. I'm Michael Watching for the Eagle Sports Network.